Well, in early 2012 was when I was diagnosed with Hep C. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure I'd had it for quite some time before then and because my liver function tests had been raised for many years. And uh, it wasn't until I moved to Dunedin that I was tested um, for Hep C. Yeah. Um, at the time when I was diagnosed, I thought my life was over. Um, the treatment for Hep C um, back when I was diagnosed was pegylated interferon and ribavirin. And me being a genotype 1A would have meant that I would have had to have 48 weeks worth of injections. Now, pegylated interferon and ribavirin has been likened to chemotherapy. There are numerous amount of side effects and they are lifelong side effects. Chances are I would have had to have stopped work. Um, and so for many, many years, while I had Hep C, um, the new direct acting antivirals um, became available on the market. However, they were available at a cost. Um, for me, someone with my genotype, the cost for me to have that medication here in New Zealand would have been $84,000. And the actual treatment at that time in New Zealand was more scarier than the disease. Not that the disease wasn't scary, the end result of Hep C, of course, as everyone knows, is um, hepatic cell carcinoma and needing liver transplant once you get to the end stages of Hep C. Um, I joined a Facebook group um, run by Alison Beck on the Hepatitis C Resource Centre um, and I saw a post there um, a little over a year ago about a chap by the name of Greg Jeffries. Now Greg, Greg Jeffries was a Hep C patient from Tasmania and he was very, very sick with Hep C and he investigated generic treatment with direct acting antivirals that were made available from India. And he went to India and purchased these medicines and he cured himself of Hep C and he decided to tell the world. Now I investigated that a little bit further and I thought I was a little bit sceptical to begin with and then there was more posts that followed after that from a new website set up by Tasmanian Dr James Freeman and that was Fix Hep C. And so I decided to join Fix Hep C and do my due diligence. At the time when I found out about generics my liver was getting worse, um, my energy levels were fading and I was really struggling with Hep C. And so I decided to make the plunge and I made a Skype appointment um, with James Freeman and after the, at the end of that Skype appointment I had an Australian prescription um, where I could fly to Australia within three weeks time to pick up my medication which I paid $2,700 for, not $84,000 and I came back to New Zealand, I was able to legally import these um, drugs and bring these drugs into New Zealand under personal um, importation laws um, provided that I had a prescription. Correct. So I had to be monitored privately. So, and that was my blood works and everything. So during the time when you're on treatment, it is important um, that you have monitoring. Treatment, um, even though the direct acting antivirals have a lot less side effects, it's still important that people are monitored, um, that their um, bloods are tested to make sure firstly that the medications are working and then they're not having any sort of bad side effects from so the treatment people. And when you consider the cost of now what is now the funded Vicera pack for Genotype 1A, the cost of those pills for a 12 week course is $50,000 mm. per patient. Um, and these, and the, so these patients that are currently now with Pharmac's decision to fund the Vicera pack, these patients are being monitored in the public health system. Mm. However, patients who have chosen to choose the generic route are still being made to pay privately. Mm. I'm disappointed. I'm incredibly disappointed. These people um, have saved the Southern District Health Board millions of dollars, millions, and uh, they deserve a better standard of care. I've come out of the closet because I'm a healthcare worker. I'm not a drug user. Um, and yet there's a stigma in this country. If you Google Hep C and you go to images, the first thing you'll see is an intravenous drug user the first thing you'll see is someone in prison or you'll see someone with a backyard tattoo. The truth of the matter is anyone can catch Hep C. It doesn't matter what background you've had. Anyone is at risk of it. Mm.